Once again, let me now take this opportunity to welcome you and also to thank you for taking time to be with us here tonight. I want to thank particularly my colleagues in the Azimio Summit who have all come in the numbers to be with us here today. I, they were saying it's Baba, and I say, how does Baba become the guest in his own function? <laughs> that I become the speaker. I mean, I, I cannot congratulate myself. <laughs> they are being very unfair. <laughs> As usual, politicians are very unfair. But I'm very grateful that you guys have taken time to be with us here. I don't take it for granted, me and Ida. I met this young girl of 51 years ago. And uh, sometimes they say live at the first sight. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But we courted each other for nearly a year. In the end, we reached a stage where we went to the altar to say, I do. I do meant that you are condemning yourself to jail <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> you say, till death do us part. That is very easy to say. But you sometimes find that most of the times you have the difficult part of it. The times when this is nice and good, and, but the times when it can be very, very rough indeed. Some of those pictures you see are just a, a very tiny fraction of the pictures that you should have seen. But Ida was a young girl and there was also a young lad in town. <laughs> <laughs> in the, those days, so, uh, you know, there's, in the campus there, the halls of residence, used to call it the box in those days where you'd go to look for beautiful girls. <laughs> I was a bachelor at that time. So we met and um, eventually caught at each other and the song they've sung here of George Ramogi, Alice, Alice Alungo Nyinge, is the one that actually brought us together. And that's why it is very, very historical that that should be, be played here tonight. But you see, life is what you make it yourself, you know? There's no way of saying this way or that way. But as you see, there are some coincidences. She's celebrating her birthday tonight. As you know, uh, so many years ago, my grandmother, was having bad pangs and gave birth to this girl. Little did she know that several years later, her uh, 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 granddaughter would be going through a similar experience to give birth to her great grandson. So that Ida is now sharing her birthday with her grandson. You see, this is also accidents of nature. Nature is a very interesting thing. But then uh, I think that uh, life is also an education. You learn as you move on, you know new people. So it becomes time become very interesting. When we were getting married, both of us realized that we had something in common. That we had a love for the Caribbeans. You see, Harry Belafonte, <laughs> Harry Belafonte, who was my hero at that time, had made it look so, so beautiful that I said that I'm, in my lifetime, one day I must go to the Caribbeans. 
either also independently, the Caribbeans. So we wanted to go to the Caribbean for our um, uh, honeymoon, but we did not have the money. So he said, in our lifetime, we must one day go together to the Caribbeans. So it reached a time when we were now able to go. And we said, this time we were now having a family, children, grandchildren. So we said, we'll take a tour to the Caribbeans together. So we traveled on time, we traveled to London, Heathrow, then we changed to Gatwick, took a flight to Montego Bay in Jamaica. All of us flew from here, except Winnie, who was then in college in the US, who came and joined us in Montego Bay. So we were there, now looking at what it was. Around there we went to what they call uh, um, uh, the Belafonte House, where Harry Belafonte was brought up. Then we went to a, a field where Hossein Bolt used to train his high school. Then we went to the Maroons. Maroons are those people who came from Africa and still live the way they live there in right in, in Jamaica. They fought the, the Spaniards, they defeated the Spaniards, the British. Eventually they signed a charter with Queen uh, Victoria. So they lived the way they, they lived when they came from Africa. Then we went to uh, Nani, uh, Bob Marley, because Junior and uh, Fidel are fans of Bob Marley, home. And then from Montego Bay, then we went to uh, Dominican Republic, which is called Casa de Campo. Then from there, we went to the Trinidad. And then I went to Tobago. We have found the black people saying, because Trinidad and Tobago are two different islands. See, tell me what is the country to the east of Tobago? I tried to, to think of those islands. No, no, no. Eventually told me, to the east of Tobago, there's nothing else but Africa. We come from Africa and we're proud of it. So from there, we then took a, a, a flight all the way to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and, and then back. But when we were there now, I th remember Harry Belafonte. You know, Belafonte was a, a singer. He came to Kenya. He was also a freedom fighter, civil rights activist, and so on. So, the song that I loved most is the one that sings the, 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 the Jamaican farewell. Round the Bay of Mexico, where the sun shines daily on a mountain top. I took a trip on a sailing ship when I reached Jamaica I made a stop. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a days. My head is down, my head is turning around. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston town. <laughs> so, we have been a, on a journey, me and Ida, and we've reached where we've reached. Uh, sometimes it was, it was really been rough. Uh, when sometimes I was in and out, she was the pillar who looked after the family. You know, I, Junior got to know me when he was nine years old. It's when he, he got to know me that I was his father. But all those times, Ida was the one who stood strong as a pillar and brought up these children. Yeah. 
So uh, it is good to appreciate a partner. And you know that you are partners. I've also stood by her when she was in problems. But she has been in more problem because of me rather <laughs> than because of herself. Twice she has been sacked from her jobs basically because of me. So you know the kind of price you pay marrying rascals like <laughs> you are truly. You know, like now they see my um, Shemeji there, Mrs. Oparanya, has been brought here because <laughs> she married Oparanya. <laughs> and she got some very unusual visitors. <laughs> In her home in Kakameka. To attack her from Gombrango now. <laughs> so we are there back in the old days. We have been through these things before. We thought they had changed. But the more things change, the more they remain the same. But we are not scared. We have worked this journey before. We know the, the ups and downs of it, and we are definitely convinced that ultimately the Kenyan spirit shall prevail. <laughs> so with those very many remarks now, let me invite the birthday lady to come and say something to you people. Karibu <laughs> sana.